tell us, Alice, what you think you could bring to this role. For example, what difference did you make in your last job? Um, I came up with the idea for team drinks after work on Friday. Excellent! Team bonding. It's just as important as the work itself, I always feel. I think that's all we need. Roger! I'll see you out, Ms. Hall. Or she. Thank you for your help. So, Roger, that was the seventh candidate so far. Eighth, I think. That many? Wow. Anyway, I have some notes on who I think would be best. Uh-huh. I thought Jonathan's experience with CRM systems made him ideal, and Maureen from last week seemed to be a strong candidate also. Do you agree? Actually, I'm going to give the job to Alice. Alice? You're kidding, right? The air had been blonde. Now, now, Ushi. Some of your colleagues are blonde. You can't judge people by the colour of their hair. Or a basis. Vanessa, could I see you in the meeting room over there, please? I appreciate your input, but I've made up my mind. You'll see, she'll fit into the team quite well. What is it? I'm afraid there have been more comments about your standard of dress in the office. Look, I cannot help it. I have not worn a bra for years, not since my boobs grow so big. But I do not think it is your business, or anyone else's. I'm in an awkward position here, Vanessa. Your appearance is somewhat distracting for your colleagues, and certainly for me. I cannot help having these large tits, you know. Do you not even own a... A uh, bra? No. The last time I wore a bra, it was a capsize. A D, I think. But no way that will fit me now. I am now maybe H, double H, I, J, K, who know? And anyway, I don't think I need one. My breasts look good without a bra, and I'm more comfortable like this. So the other women in the office, if they have a problem with me, they can fuck off. I'm sorry to have brought it up. Can I go and get on with my work? find the contract for Daxent GmbH? It's not in the contract directory? No. Do you have the customer ID? 75D55AX005. And it was you that processed the contract? Yes. I guess I must have saved it in the wrong folder. I'd simply do a search of all document contents across the whole company network. Search for your own name and the first three characters of the customer code, and it'll turn up that way. Good idea. Roger, may we talk in private? Ah, uh, sure. Turn it over. Mm. 
You've gone very pale, Roger. What's the matter? What is this? Some kind of office practical joke? Please, Roger. You were the last person to save the file. You wrote this. About us. About our bosoms. Now, I don't know what you're getting at, You know but... how I found this? I searched the network for the terms Ushi and 75D. The contract turns up in the wrong folder, as expected, but the search also returns this file called Contract Admin. Roger, are you really so stupid to put this on the corporate network? I can explain. And now I'm thinking, why would you put my bra size down as 75D? Apart from the fact that it's a very out-of-date bra size. It's a German size, in centimeters. And you've guessed badly, the rest of the team's bra sizes using UK measurements in inches. And then I remembered, I keep an old sports bra in my desk, in case I want to go to the gym at lunch and I forget mine. I'm a bigger size now, and it doesn't fit me very well anymore. But the size written on the label of that sports bra? 75D. You've been going through my things. Roger, you are well and truly fucked. What do you want? Firstly, I don't want you doing this behind my back. I'm sorry. I never intended for anyone to find out. It all makes sense now. You've hired us all because we have big boobs. The reason that blonde bimbo is starting on Monday is because of her tits. Do you go and masturbate in the toilets every ten minutes? No, I really don't. Then, when you get home? This... this is private. So is my sports bra. And so are my nipples. In your notes, you speculate that they are small and dark. Where do you get that idea? Because I have dark hair and dark eyes? I... I, I don't know. You know, in a way, I want to get my tits out right now and show you my nipples, just to show you how wrong you are. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't want you to do anything of the sort. You're wrong about nipples, wrong about bra sizes. How can you be so obsessed with boobs, but know so little about them? I'm... I'm an idiot. In a twisted way, it's kind of sweet. You promise you never masturbate at work? I promise. So you spend all day getting turned on more and more by all these pairs of big boobs. My god, you must come so hard when you get home each night. You let it build up all day and then let it out. Oh, Roger, that must feel so good. You realize, Roger, that I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. I, I've learned my lesson, I assure you. But I'm not going to tell anyone about this. Not yet. What's the catch? First, Roger, we have to do something about this list. I'll delete it, I promise. No, no, you misunderstand. We need to find the right answers. You see, now I too am curious about my big bosom colleagues. What bra size do they wear? What do those bouncy titties look like bare naked? We are going to find out together. And when we have all the answers, then I will decide what to do with you.